Sure, thanks, the gentleman. The gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Georgia is now recognized for his questions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I would just point out that I think those who say who talk about the cost savings, they're only they're they're not they're not factoring in the increased cost of the appliance. And I can tell you, as somebody who's been shopping for an ice maker over the last several weeks, um, it costs today about twice what it did just five years ago to buy one. And and one of the issues for the American consumer today is, is a lot of the newer appliances can't be serviced the way the old appliances could be. And so I can tell you, I don't get rid of my old appliances. I've got a freezer that's 15 years old and I'll repair it until it rusts all the way out because you can't repair a lot of the new appliances uh, at, at a reasonable cost. So. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to beleaguer this point. I'm going I'm to mention this to you, Mr. Plum, because I want you to know why those of us, many of us who are conservationists, don't trust what comes out of uh, the far left in Washington, D.C. In my home state, they're cutting down thousands of acres of forest land. Thousands of acres of forest land. That land was sold for significantly more than it was actually worth because of the tax subsidies to put solar panels in. Now, there's no way that a fact-based decision-making environmentalist would suggest that it's in the best interest of the environment to cut down the forest lands of this country to put up solar panels. It's just not. And so that's why we don't trust what comes out of um, liberal administrations. And that's just an example. It's not your fault. I mean, but I'm, I'm just, uh, I mean, I, I don't understand why the Biden administration can't just leave us alone. I, re I really don't. And with that, I, I yield, Mr. Chairman.